Hey everyone, it's Neon Polygons, and today I want to do a quick video about how I'm trying to transfer these types of cassettes and digitize them into a 1080p format. So what you see here is a Hi8 Sony camcorder cassette. Uh, these are very popular in the late 90s, and unfortunately the problem was with these types of uh, video formats was that they weren't easy to convert even into VHS. There wasn't a Hi8 to VHS adapter that essentially you could just plug this into a kind of a VHS style uh, cassette format and put it into your VHS player and then from there you could digitize it. Fortunately that that type of adapter does not exist at all. So there is usually the way how people were going about transferring these types of cassettes into uh, your computers was you would actually put it into your camcorder and output via the DVI in and out put that into Firewire into your computer, and presto, that's how you would digitize it. Um, unfortunately, by doing it that way, the, you're only getting 480p because the output of the camcorder is only 480p and then that's what you're feeding into your computer. So what I'm trying to do is actually transfer a pure, as, or as best as I can, a pure 720, 1080p video signal. And by that, I need three things. Obviously, I need my camcorder. Uh, and I'm attaching it into my second input into my VHS player. Now, this VHS player is special because it has an HDMI out shared between both the VHS and DVD side. I did a previous video on this uh, Panasonic DVD player, which I felt is one of the best um, modern VHS players to get a you know 1080p signal out of it, or 720p, 1080p signal out of it. And so with that, I'm inputting first, uh, again, putting in my Hi8 tape into my camcorder, feeding it into my VHS. And then from the VHS, I am using this, a Genki Shadowcast, which allows me to take a 1080p signal out of my VHS player. And then from there, I am using that to feed into my laptop. So let me go show you guys a quick look of you know how that um feeds into my screen okay so uh here's what i've done right now i've attached uh my camcorder into input two of my dmr es 45v panasonic dual vhs dvd player which outputs into 720 1080p um, over hdmi that is then being fed out via my Genki Shadowcast into my laptop, which is where I am essentially going to extract my 1080p image. And as you can see here, voila, I have now uh, cleanly extracted a Hi8 uh, cassette tape, um, which is, you know, unfortunately only being spun out in 480p on this format. But I'm getting it out of my camcorder into my VHS DVD player, which is essentially upscaling the 40p image into a 720 1080p format. Then I am extracting that via my Genki Shadowcast uh, via over HDMI, and then feeding it into my laptop over USB. And there it is, a clean 1080p signal. Um, anyways, I'm only creating this video just because I know it's a pretty niche thing. I know a lot of you are not really, there's not a lot of people doing this, but for a lot of you people who are from like the 80s and 90s and unfortunately have a lot of high eight cassette tapes from camcorders and you may have some old family videos like as such as I do, and you wanna digitize them. You wanna get them in the cleanest possible 1080p format that you possibly can. Uh, unfortunately, this is the only way to do it. So, um, as I mentioned, just to repeat what I just did, high eight cassette tape, you get it into your uh, camcorder, output that over AV, unfortunately, uh, that then goes into uh, one of your inputs and preferably you need a DVD VHS player, or you can do this actually over Blu-ray if it has a, um, over a Blu-ray player, as long as it has an AV uh, input. Extract that using a, you know, you can use a capture card. What I use is the Genki Shadowcast because it's a pretty straightforward uh, process where you just plug it in via to the HDMI uh, output. And then from there, put it into your computer and pull. And then that's how you get essentially a 4 p image 
upscale to 720 or 1080p and then you capture that over your laptop so not essentially the cleanest way to do it but it is the only way right now as far as i could tell of getting these guys hi8 cassette tapes out of this format out of this media format 480p and then getting it into a modern 720 or 1080p format so hope this video kind of helps there's not a lot of people out there who are really discussing this and um as you know time goes on it's getting a lot harder to extract these guys and right now uh this is in my opinion the simplest or cleanest way of doing it anyways this is neon polygons thanks again for watching and catch you all again soon